Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 5 or the 5C or the 5S model and you're having issues with your SIM card or your network card here. Maybe you get something up here that says um, no service or maybe it's constantly searching. Maybe it says invalid. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of possible solutions to get the SIM card working in your uh, iPhone 5, okay? So first thing is this, what I want you to do is go ahead and get your SIM ejection tool. Go ahead and pop out your SIM card here. You can, if you guys don't have this around, uh, laying around a, the ejection tool, you can use the back of a stud earring if it's like kind of skinny. Also, if you have a bobby pin or like a thin paper clip, that'll work in the hole as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and take out the SIM, SIM card here. So I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my SIM card in my hand like this. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go ahead and rub the contacts a little bit, okay? Rub the contacts in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. And now I'm going to go ahead and blow inside the, um, the where the SIM tray goes in, the hole right here, okay? So, blow really hard. Now, go ahead and grab your SIM tray here and make sure that little hole is on the bottom right-hand side like this. And we can see that little diagonal slit. That's exactly how we want to place the SIM card. So the SIM card goes in just like this. And you can see it's in there nice and flush, okay? Now I'm gonna simply go ahead and put it back in, pop it all the way in, and then give it a minute or so and keep watching up here, okay? Hopefully it does find your SIM card. If it doesn't, we're gonna move to the next step. So the next step here now is simply just turning off your phone and turning it back on. So let's go ahead and turn this iPhone off, press and hold the power button, wait for the slider option to appear, then slide off. Wait about 10 seconds or so. After 10 seconds, go ahead and boot up the iPhone back up. And once it's booted back up, I want you to wait another minute or two and see if it finds your SIM card, see if it registers. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, that was kind of weird. I kind of had a uh, no SIM for like the past like five minutes. So what I had to do was, when I basically played with the contact, I must've did something. Anyways, what I did was, I simply just ejected the uh, SIM card back out and I simply rubbed on the contacts again. And then I simply just placed it back in and popped it back in and finally it went from, uh, like right now it says no SIM there. And then when I went on and Put it back in there. Let's see if it finds it again. So it says, okay, it says no, no SIM, then no service. Give it a second here. Okay, yeah, it found it again, okay. Okay, so if your uh, network card or SIM card is still not working, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go into your settings here. And then from your settings, what we wanna do is we wanna go to where it says airplane mode right here, oops. Go to airplane mode right here. You, what you wanna do is turn it on. Wait a few seconds, off. On, off. Now, go ahead and look up on the top right hand side and hopefully it finds your SIM card or network card. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step here. All right, so this next step here is what we're gonna do is we're gonna force our iPhone to restart. That's called a force restart. And how you do that it's a two key combo, okay? No, you're not gonna lose any data if you do this. It's basically restarting. It's basically like if you have a computer and you can't shut it down properly, so what you have to do is press and hold the power button down and then it basically just turns off. It's kind of the same thing with the phone here. So it's a two key combination. What we wanna do is press and hold the power button and the home button. Press and hold at the same time. Continue to press, do not let go until the Apple logo appears. So follow along here. Power button, home button, ready? One, two, Three, I'm holding down both buttons. I'm not gonna let go until I see that Apple logo appear. I'm still holding onto the, both the buttons, waiting for the Apple logo to appear. Now I can go ahead and let go. Now, once your, your phone is booted back up, give it another minute or two, see if it finds your network card. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. So for this next step, again, we wanna go into settings here and go into settings. And this time we wanna go to where it says, do not disturb. Tap on that. And now what we wanna do is turn it on. Off. 
on, off, on, turn it off. Also make sure that the schedule down here is off as well, okay? Now, just simply wait until it finds your network card. Give it a minute or two. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. Now for this next step, go back into your settings and then we wanna go down to where it says general and then scroll all the way down to near the bottom where it says reset. So tap on reset here. And if you look right here, it says reset network settings. So simply tap on that and it says down here, this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. Now, once we put, um, click the uh, reset network settings here, it's gonna go ahead and reboot my phone and then I'm gonna lose all of my network settings. Like for instance, I'll have to find my Wi-Fi again. I'll have to put my, insert my Wi-Fi uh, uh, password and whatnot. Anyways, wait for the phone to boot back up. Once it's booted back up, give it another minute or two to see if it finds your network or gives you the, um, the, the data bars so that you can see that it's actually, your, your SIM card and network card is actually registered on the network, okay? If that didn't work, we're gonna to go to the next step here. All right, so for the next step here, what we're gonna do is this. We're basically going to put some pressure on all over the back of the phone, the front of the phone, also all over the sides, okay? And believe me, guys, some of you guys watching this video, this is gonna get your uh, SIM card working, okay? So, I mean, you don't have to get a, um, a towel or, or a napkin or something like that. I mean, you can just press it like this. What I want you to press all around it. Two thumbs, give it nice, decent pressure. Also on the front of the screen here, give it some like good pressure and you can keep checking it every once in a while to see if your network is coming up, okay? Also, I want you to press on the sides. You gotta give it like a nice firm press, even on the bottom and top here. Check to see if it's up. If it's not, also, you see the uh, SIM tray area. What I want you to do is go ahead and tap it and then keep looking. Tap it. Tap near the back, the front of the screen where the SIM tray is. Sometimes the contacts can have issues. It's possible that your contacts might even be like a little bit corroded from the actual inside of the, uh, the, SIM, the SIM hole tray as well. Keep tapping it, go ahead and check it, okay? And hopefully it's up and running now. If it's not, then what we gotta do is give it a little bang. Now, some of you guys lost your SIM card, uh, your SIM card is not registering. Maybe it was working before, but then you guys dropped your phone, all of a sudden it's not working. Well, a lot of times, if you basically drop it again, it brings that SIM card back to life, okay? So I want you to do this now. Give it a little tap. Keep watching to see if it starts, if it finds your network. If you can see the bars, turn it over. Also, turn it to the side, back over and keep checking. Believe me, I have a lot of these phones, these iPhones come up with a simple bang like that. And hopefully your uh, SIM card is now reading. Now the thing is, now if you've done every single one of these steps and your SIM card is still not registering or it's not working, what I want you to do is try every single step. Try it like five or six more times. Sometimes it's a combination of two or three other methods that actually get the uh, SIM card back up and running. Now, the last thing that I have for you is basically doing a factory reset, but doing a factory reset, you're basically gonna lose everything on your phone. It'll be as if you bought the phone um, brand new. Anyways, if you guys have a uh, anything important on here, then you wanna go ahead and do a backup. You can do a backup through iCloud, or if you have iTunes, on, it doesn't matter if you have a Windows computer or a MacBook, you can go ahead and plug that into your computer and make a backup and then go ahead and we can go ahead and go into settings here and we can go down to um, go down to general and then go all the way down to where it says reset here tap on reset and then right here we erase all content and settings we can proceed with the factory reset remember if you do this you will lose all your your videos your your, your documents your photos everything will be long gone as if you bought this phone brand new and just took it out of the box okay so if you have something important on here make sure you do a backup on iTunes or iCloud. And then once we go ahead and proceed with the erase all content and settings here, once it's, it, it'll probably take about 20 minutes or so to get done. Then you'll get to the welcome screen. You gotta choose your language. But from there, you can go ahead and plug it back into um, your iTunes and uh, restore everything on here from that backup on your computer. Anyways, 
and then you would just go down here and you would press erase now which I'm not going to go ahead and blow everything out of this phone because this phone is working perfectly fine anyways guys let me know which method or which combination of methods actually worked for you or what you think worked for you uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if this worked for you if it didn't make sure to give me a thumbs down again like I said most of you guys will have your sim card up and running I'll see you guys in the next one